I can feel like 80 rats in my Marys. Me and Drizzy back to back is getting scary. If you fucking with my eyes, just don't come near me. Put some bins all on your head like Jason Terry. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, you already good, know, y'all. you already know the phase on view podcast back with another one, back with another one Thursday, 9 another p.m. One. We here, man. We here. The gang is here. No. As you already know, my brethren, A, and co-host Hugh, you already know. Always special guest pull up Simple pop out, my brother. We special visions, DAS. Let's get it into it today, man. On our agenda, man. On our man. agenda today. It's it's a crazy world. The state of emergency. Point blank period. Something everybody needs to take note of and understand. Russian side of cyber attack on U.S. gas and pipelines um, through a cyber attack affected the East Coast, down South, and even more right now. So, hey, that's a tough one we're going to talk about. So, Warner Brothers, man. Black Superman in the works? I don't know. I'm excited about it. Let's see. Like Let's see. The game, man. The game, the rapper. His top 10 rapper list. Interesting. Very interesting. We're going to go into it and explain with that. What that was with the game. I don't know. Man, oh, okay. Mace, man, Mace stated that, you know, weakness, it's a weakness in the black community that we have. He, he just stated an unpopular opinion, he, he said, but to join the street game, he just doesn't understand it. He doesn't understand it and what it, the plight is of, or what the reasoning is for it. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that. And lastly, would you rather lose all your money you earned this year or lose all of the knowledge you gained this year? So we're going to get into it today, but as... You already know, man. Game shift, man. You see my brethren. Hey, game shift. You know, you see right here. Hey, I'm gonna get your I'm merch. Coaching, man. Get your merch. merch. Get your merch. The Phase Out View Podcast merch. Hey, man. It's coming soon. More hoodies it's coming soon. It's color power. Summer's wear is coming soon. Color power, as always. Get those. Get those. Hey, summer, springtime is here, man. Support the business. Support the businesses, man. So let's get into it, man. Right now, it's a, it's a crisis going on right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just found out all of this today. I, I just keep, I just kept seeing things going up and going up, and then I'm driving past gas stations after I'm notified. I'm like, like, okay, hold up, hold up. Prices looking different. Prices looking different, and also it's crazy. lines everywhere. Yeah. And the fact that, like, these things are huge for our economy. Mm. People don't understand <laughs> this. We're talking about transportation. We're not talking about gas. oil. Gas We're talking about not even things. gas. We're talking about Heat. oil. Oil mm-hmm. is the biggest entity, mm-hmm. the biggest thing. Probably run on. here. That's what we run. Yeah. That's what, everything yeah, is man. based on oil. Everything. So it's it's very tough for everybody right now. And honestly, it's it's affected the East Coast. It's affecting us here in the DMV area. It's affecting uh, from literally Florida to Virginia, and we don't know right now. Yeah. Honestly, we don't know. We just breaking the news. Cause it's, it's right now it's present and something that's going on, and honestly, man, it's just it's 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 very uh, sad because right. this this shows you a lot and what's what's going to go on in the near future. Honestly, if we want to be honest, bro, <laughs> you gotta you gotta look at the optics of things. Things are looking very scary. We are still in a pandemic. No matter what you want to say, we're going outside. Everybody vaccinated. Everybody's not vaccinated. That's what you gotta consider. It could be millions of people. Everybody not vaccinated. Mm-hmm. We're still in a pandemic and something like this happens. And so, it's a breach in America, just America. Mm-hmm. This is saying a lot. So just uh, what's, what's your thoughts on this? My thoughts is um, we just got this at this moment or this time. We have to learn how to we have to figure out how we can shift it now, like how we conduct our energy, because mm-hmm. we realize that gas at, at this point in time, gas, is nothing's for certain. So I feel like we should definitely figure out a way to um help our economy uh, grow in a different way. You know, not just gas, but like, you know, electricity, like, you know what I'm saying? Like energy based, something, something that can change this because if we go, we can't keep going through this, especially Mm -hmm. while we're in the pandemic and stuff like this going on, it's called people are fighting and and it's causing an uproar and a a, a emergency, Mm -hmm. national emergency, stuff like that. We need to figure out another way to get energy and to drive our cars and stuff like that. Well, you you want to know what spooks me about this situation, bro? It's just the fact that you have geniuses and billionaires like Elon, Elon Musk. Yes, a lot of people, with Tesla. honestly, that's with Tesla and thinking about energy-based things. Because yep. honestly, we're I'm not saying it like that. We're going to get to the place of wealth. I, I believe in us. 
But right now, we don't have that information. You know they got the information. Now, I feel like the information is they know things like this is going to happen. Yeah. This is planned out. And I'm not saying to anybody's knowledge or anything. They're releasing, I don't know if you guys heard of, of today, they're releasing DC informants. They're releasing news. They're releasing information silently, mm -hmm. bro. It's not just oil. They're releasing information. And this is not just the beginning. But, you know, so and being mindful, too. Of and aspects, this is just a product of us. This is just a product of, you know, you know, them treating us like this. You know, people are getting tired of standing back and letting people get ran over. You know, a lot of people's homes are getting taken. So it's like some people want to take it upon themselves to start doing global things that's starting to, you know, make sh make things change. It's this like, is crazy. this goes to show that America, we definitely have to change people. And like how the yeah. government is how, how we look, everything's how we look changing. Because how we look upon to other countries and other places, you just never know how they think. And honestly, I believe in a lot of Im imagery. And a lot of these movies, it seems like we're always the bad guy. And it's not for a reason. I mean, it's not, not for a reason. It's for a reason. And my prayers you know is out to the foreign countries that's going through that. Like Israel, like Colombia. Like, my prayers go out to those and people out there that don't have the luxury as us and don't have true, people true. stepping in and helping over there. And and my prayers out to y'all. Prayers you know, to everybody. You know, my prayers out to y'all. Well, America's got a lot a lot of stuff they got to they gotta deal with. I think the reason why we, look, we were looked at is... Uh, a great country because there are just you just have a certain type of freedom that you just can't get anywhere else. As much as we want to talk about how we're being, how black folks are treated, yeah, we are. But they're just, I mean, when you compare us to the types of things that are going on in different countries, it makes you put it in perspective. Like in mm -hmm. China, you can't even—they tell you what to do, who to worship, what to look at, yeah. what to watch, where to go, what to eat, when to go to bed. We don't have those issues here in in, um, in Israel. In Israel right now, I think they're well. They're saying. The, the, the gag is over religion, but it's really not. It's just, you know, oppression and people want to be liberated. From, right, people want from to change. Jewish, from Jewish um, tyranny. But like I said, like, even we don't have issues like that. Like, they just bombed an orphanage. Like, we but, don't have that going on over here. So it's like, people people want to leave those countries and come here. And even, yes, every country has its problems. And we have a lot going on. We have a lot to fix. But there yes. are certain liberties here that, you know, you just want to be... You know, be thankful for you know, like freaking what's going on over in England. Like, like what's going on over there is some movie type stuff. Like, you only hear about like the king, there's the queen, right. and the queen has a son, right. yeah. and the son marries the the, the peasant woman, mm -hmm. and right. and the mom does not Still agree. Stuck in the time and they and, and they and she has right. a baby, and they, they they leave. Like that's the like that's some stuff you watch in a movie. This is real, and like, this is actually happening. Like it trips me out. That's a real thing, but we don't have to deal with that. But my point is, like, not to cut you off, but my point is, knowing this, this gas situation and things are starting to occur. In a few more years, or to ten to fifteen, we might start looking like the other countries. So yes, you, this right. is like I'm a wake-up call. I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, with this that is a wake-up call I'm to just, us. We I'm have to figure out different ways to conduct this energy. I'm not disagreeing. So, so we I'm can say that. Yeah, like, so I agree with you America too. Has, America, has, oh, hardly, so. America definitely has a lot of stuff that they need to fix. We have a lot of we things going it. on. And you know, I do think the best like scenario in order to fix how we look to other countries is one. Fix how we look towards ourselves, because mm -hmm. you know we already went through the years ago. We already went through sending people off to fight other people's wars when mm -hmm. we were still doing our own, you know, terrorism. Right. So we need to Correct. treat people, minorities, and you know, people of color better. Starting, starting at home, mm -hmm. and then secondly, yeah, you need to treat the rest of the allies around the world better. Like one, I don't think we should retaliate to whoever did this. Cause that's just more time, money, and resources. They just, they just not needed to get spent right now. That's true. Too. You know and we saying? must hold the people. That's more people you gonna send away to get killed uh -huh. for, for nothing. And, and we must hold the people accountable too. The higher ups, like the president, like so all the people on. in these different offices, we gotta start holding people yeah, accountable. Like, I don't think, I don't we can't think keep blaming ourselves. I understand because you think about it, we are the way we are because of how we we're mm -hmm. programmed and how we we're designed. So we can we can blame ourselves, but at the same time, we have to start, you know, going to the root of the problem. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean. It's, it's human beings that are in charge. As long as the human beings are in charge, yeah, so we have to, of, everybody must but be. Yeah, like you gotta, you like, gotta start treating other true. countries better. Yeah. Like I don't think we should retaliate to whoever did this. Mm -hmm. I think we should just fix what we gotta fix here, and then mm -hmm. you know move on. We but with that show weakness, though. Who cares? But at the end of the it, day, I mean, at this time and day and age, yes, but at, yes it's, 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 it sounds good to say who cares. Yes, but, but too, but too, I yeah. agree with you. We are who we are. I, but I agree. Dominant. And that's facts. But I agree with you. But that's the problem too. Yeah. Since you went, been want to be dominant, it's all about who's the top dog. 
It's yeah, not yeah, about that. It's that's about, how we built, though. But I, that's you know, how we built. It's not just no one got, no one was but, killed in this attack. But they attacked on you. Got things about fix that. But also, we can fix that. But also, at the end of the day, that affects. All of us, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah. so it's every to everybody's point. So, what you said, you got to take accountability for high up because we're governed. First of all, we got to understand that that we're a, just a body of people in a country, just like they are as well. Yeah. So, so, you got to understand that. And I think that. we should share the vaccine information, man. Like we all, like we all in this together, man. Like right. why should we watch other people suffer? Yeah, I mean, it's, doing like doing well. I think that's true. a no brainer. It's a lot of optics and it's a lot of politics. It's a lot, a lot of tip for tap. You know? know, it's a lot of tip for tap. Yeah, man. It's but like, just just as people, just like we're saying, just like. Honestly, we deserve to know because yeah. this stuff, stuff like this is affecting lives, families, children, mm -hmm. and this is instant. This is instant. I just got calls from friends like that's not here, probably in, in North Carolina. Like uh, I went to eight gas stations. You know what I'm saying? What? No, there, gas, there's no gas. Like Four dollars right now. Then and then uh, 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 my best friend in Atlanta, she talking about some. Oh yeah, well, just six, seven dollars for a gas. Like what? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about? So it's just it's spooky right now. We just hope to everything to get better because everybody is gonna be affected by this, man. This this is this is transportation. This is oil. This is the biggest entity in the mm -hmm. world. Like, man, I just hope everything come together. We get me it too. together, man. We're gonna move forward. For me, my old mother always says prayer is a first response, not a last resort. Absolutely. So, Thank you. It's a bar. Like, it's a bar. You know what I'm saying? Just fight through it. It's a hold your head up and you know, save as much gas as you can. Absolutely. So you can survive through this. Real talk. We just gonna keep everybody in our prayers and hey, keep your faith. Moving on, moving on. Warner Bros. Warner Bros. Man, Black Superman in the works, man. Hey, my brother Hugh, go ahead, man. You lead the way on this, man. I'm so, just excited. I got, I got, I got, I got issues with this. The same issues that everyone else has with this. So mm -hmm. for starters, this started when Ray Fisher. And for those of you who know, Ray Fisher is the guy that plays Cyborg in the, in the Justice League movie that just came out, and he spoke about you know how Warner Brothers has treated them. Um, you know, actors of color and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And so, like, soon after that, the news comes out that they're looking for a black actor and a black director to do black Superman. And it's like, okay, people reading it, they're like, okay, what are they doing? Oh, we're going to do Clark Kent, but black. And it's like, wait, what? So it's like, so my issue is this. Mm -hmm. It's like, I see. Superman is one of my favorite heroes. Mm -hmm. He's been around since the 1930s. He's almost 90 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, been around longer than anyone else that's been in here. Correct. And you have to understand that in the, in the early, in the late '30s, no one was thinking about black anything. Mm -hmm. But that's fine. Mm -hmm. If you if you pick your superhero based off race, you missed your whole point of why you like superheroes. Like Ant Man could be black, and I don't know why. I still wouldn't watch his movies. Like it doesn't matter to me that he's black right. or white. I just don't care for him as a hero right, or his power. That's why you pick heroes. So mm -hmm. Superman is iconic and great. And so no one has an issue with Clark Kent. So like nobody wants you to take Clark Kent and paint him black. Right. Like you just you won, you I that though. Yeah, no, you do one no, you do one or two I see things. What you're you do one or two I things. Guess. One, apparently there's already a black superman right, and right. bows up. So the one of the things you can do is one, you take one of the black heroes that already the hundreds of black heroes already exist. Exactly. You highlight them and right. bring that new fan. The same way they did with Black Panther. Black Panther was not always a mainstream hero. Right. But then they they, they, they right. like put they money behind it and now you ask somebody on the street, Black Panther's probably in their top five heroes. So you could take Val Zod, who is the black superman. And you can make that movie. You don't uh -huh. paint Clark Kent. Or what you do is you make an original hero that's black. I agree I, no one wants you to I paint Clark Kent, but black. that's lazy. One you. thing I'm gonna say, it's one all thing, about intention, bro. All about intention, intention, but one thing I'm gonna say is just you. it's just about changing the narrative just a little bit. Nah. With the reason why I'm you saying that's my opinion. No, which, 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 what I'm trying to say is wait, let me get my point out. What I'm trying to say is, is uh, us growing up as kids, we never really had like the black us or black people, we never really had we never really have black superheroes, so it would be good to see a black superhero that as if as such Superman with such power, it kind of helped, this helped kids see something different. That, you're right, right. The point is there is a black Let superhero. Let me make my point. Yeah, but Clark Kent was the most powerful one, the most but impactful the, one, so but, just to see a black Clark Kent would be dope too, right, to see that we can have point. our own Clark Kent for you. our own, you know. I got no you. One, just I, to see what it is. Let me converse with this, because at the end of the day, I agree with your point, because it's about the intention. Let me just speak. 1930s, right? He said Clark Kent was based off of it. It's been a plethora of superheroes. Mm -hmm. The only reason why it wasn't seen to I when we were young years because they weren't putting it out there. It wasn't like it wasn't in the comics. Mm -hmm. It wasn't TV shows based upon it because the imagery of us and how they looked at us as people. Uh -huh. So I get what he's saying. Don't paint 
just to be put it, oh yeah, well, Clark Kent and just put a black face there. It's other superheroes out here. Give them, give them the credit they deserve. Because in agreement with him, with Black Panther, we Black Panther is comics. I knew about Black Panther, but not to the extent when the movie came out, I knew about Black, about Black Panther. They chose to focal point it and bring it to the light. They yeah. didn't make it another whole character. Yeah. The 19, that's like making. Love, oh, hold on, hold on. I love Clark Kent. Wait, 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 wait. That's like making. That's like making Captain America black. I'm like, they are, but that's my problem. You know what but, 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 that's but my people problem. would love he's to not, see he's that. Not he's Steve we always, we always see but these oh white but guys not, coming to save the day. Why, why can't we not, not see a black man that can save not, the day? But we're not saying that. We just saying that's what I'm saying. Oh, I know that. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. I'm saying. Base it off a whole different character. Make it that own entity. Don't give it. Don't give it. That's what I'm saying. There's this is politics because at the end of the day, y'all wanna. Y'all want to put the uh, the the, uh, all, the white man his all his legacy and stuff now, and now you just want to paint a black uh, face on it. That's just why I mean, wait, 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 that's wait. why it's a good but thing. No, it's not because it's just in the be. time. No, it's not because the time we in. Mm -hmm. Don't just say it's a good thing because you know it's the time we thing. in and you know the plight the, mm -hmm. the plight of black people and how much our people getting killed and you know uh, all these fuck all these companies now. Listen. Oh, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives mm -hmm. Matter. Where are they at now? So it's all about the moment in which they're trying not to. Not even that. But that's why that's not even that. That's why they're in Superman. But then you say they look at a black director, right, and a get black white. He's going to he's trying to change the narrative. It would be good at this time for us to see something like that. You can see something like that. That's right? all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's horrible. You want to take something that's already established. But they, that's what movie directors do. What do you mean? Every movie we've seen has been taken for something. What are you talking about? We have our own. Do you understand? We have our own, though. That's what we don't. But I'm just saying, you don't have our own. Superman and put people in yes, we people. But I people, are you think so? Hold on, what's that? Hold on, we might yeah, have She was not going to watch that one. He's getting the movie static. But static, static we've been waiting for a static movie for so long. They've been shouting out. And they're about to do it. That's what we're talking about. I hope they're about to do it. But that's what we're talking about. But static. I'm going to do the game. Static is not Superman. I agree with him because I'm Static is not Superman. But everybody ain't. It would be good to see a black Clark Kent Superman. It would be dope to see. I've never seen that before. Wait, one more thing I want to say. One more thing I want to say. One more thing I want to say. There's one more thing I want to say. Just like you said, in the 30s and the 40s, the time Superman was coming up, you know how I many black kids would have wanted to see a black Superman at that time? They had yeah, not how much that would have liberated them to see a. It's always yeah, a white man. They would love to see it. I would love to see a black and, 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 superhero. Exactly. That's what we're saying. And we don't you have put, enough. We you don't put, put, you can put, put money behind yes, them. them. And put, put, they tried to do that with Hancock, bro. Hancock was good. They did good, but people was not watching that. People people. People that watch Hancock as much as they watch the Superman. No, we're serious? not saying it, but I'm just saying it. Hancock still has. Yes, yeah. Hancock still has. So you're not going to. You're not. He's never said it did. You're not going to just. You're not going to just make somebody more popular than Superman. Superman has been around for nine years. Exactly. So you're using that platform of what Superman is already is. It's taking it to another level. You're not going to just make somebody more popular than Superman. Superman has been around for nine years. Exactly. So you're using that platform of what Superman is already is. It's taking it to another level, bro. I just don't like. You can take it to another level. I just don't like. I get your point. 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 I get your you're ruining something that's already great, and you can't just change one thing because then nothing else makes sense. Superman is an alien that crash landed in Kansas and was raised on a farm mm -hmm. by two white folks. He's black. Is he just supposed to be the only black kid with two white parents in the middle or of the country? Or they can change the Parents can be black. What do you mean they can change the whole story? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. They can change the whole story. I just don't think it's supposed to be two black people in the middle of the country. Well, I I just 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 so, we can, if you really want to get to that point, you know how there's a lot of movies about people in Egypt and they have pure white people? I get it, but you're talking about Superman. You know what I'm saying? You see how they change the movies? They always change the narrative to make the king black person white. They always do that, bro. You can't do that because if you change, you make his parents black, then he can't. Can't live in Kansas. He has to live in the city. Explain to me why. Why, why can this? Why because why can you live in Kansas? My, my farmers are black. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, the farmers were black in the back of the day. I don't agree with but the black. There's a lot of black. Explain to me how it's far in Kansas into Harlem and no one notices. Y'all going too far into the point. No, we're not. No, I'm talking about you are because at the end of the day, where it stops at, you never see a meteor man though. Never meteor man. Regardless of where the man wasn't a secret. Clark Kent was. Do you understand? He was a secret meteor man, but he crash landed. He nobody knew who he was. He didn't land in the middle of a populated city, bro. I don't understand what y'all both of y'all saying because at the end of the day, but I'm telling y'all both at the end of the day, why paint any any character or any hero? My point because you going far into the point. You 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 have your point as well, but my whole point and and, and rebuttal to you mm -hmm. is just the fact of the matter is that I don't want to see a whole different entity. That's why I agree with you say of of just building a whole nother Superman when you can build a whole nother black character and have it be true and real. Or take they can do oh, wait 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 wait. Y'all let y'all talk. Nineteen thirty, but if you go on nineteen thirties where it was still racist as I don't know what, mm -hmm. and Superman has lasted all the years. 
Don't just put a black face. That's offensive. Don't just put. I don't black think that. I don't think I, it's a black that, face. I'm on. saying to my point. You know what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, but don't just put black. Not putting a black face. I'm not saying that. I don't think you're thinking about. That's why you said a black director and black people just around it so they can really get the real black face would be a whole. I'm saying black face would be a whole white cast is just. No, I'm not saying black. I'm just saying black. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going to pass talking about black. I don't think I'm saying black people, bro. I'm talking about the face of black people. No, I'm not saying the face. You you talking about like Sambo and shit. I'm not trying to get fucking. Oh, right. Now I'm talking about black people. So there are people who say, well, they did the same. the face of the movie. That's what I mean. There's people that say things like, oh, they did the same thing with Spider Man. No, they didn't. Miles is not Peter. Miles is Miles Morales. He's from. Peter's from Queens. Miles is from Harlem. He's Afro Latino. Uh -huh. He has different powers in Spider Man. Just Peter Parker can't camo and do electricity. That's fine. Like we don't, we're not asking no one. No one took Peter Parker and made him black. They took a whole new person and made a Spider Man. This is how they got him. They both still Spider Man, bro. But he's not Peter's my point. That's what well, I'm that's saying. There's Val Zod. Val Zod is the black Superman. But he's still a Spider. You don't have to take Clark Kent and make I him black. I get what you're saying, but you he's still that is, is already black. That is like you said about Black Panther. Based off There's Al Jordan. Jordan. Just Al Jordan Superman, was the black, black Green Lantern. John Stewart is the black Green Lantern. You don't have to paint Hal Jordan. Or you can't just create another yeah, character. But, but I'm you saying you can't just create another character. All I'm saying is they do that. That was saying, super. All I'm that's saying that's is they do that with a lot of movies that's supposed to be a black character, and they put a white character there. This I'm saying they do that all the time. They didn't have a black. Superman. But I'm saying they do that all the time, though. They this didn't is have nothing. A black this is literally nothing basically. new. It's nothing new. They've been doing that for they centuries. They have a black. They've been spinning characters. They've been spinning to be black characters. They've been spinning. They. This is Hollywood for you, bro. That's what they do. Man, a black suit. It's not, I'm not saying everything they do is right. Man, I, for one, would love to know more about who Val Zod is. I just found out. I, I would just like to have more black superhero movies. I'm not talking about in yeah, the sense of, of, I'm talking about in the sense of that's their own movie. Mm -hmm. Building their own foundation. Yeah, like, that's I, how, I, that's I what I think. That's how I feel. That's what I'm saying. I don't need a black Indiana Jones. Yeah, I don't need a black James Make my own, make me my whole different thing. Make me my own entity, bro. I'm my own person. But people wanted a black James Bond. I don't need to. I'm just telling you, though. But at the you, we don't a lot of people wanted the black. I don't, I don't need it. Like, a lot of people wanted the black. They was kind of just trying to do each his album. Yeah, I, I, know, know. I know, but then it's like, how yeah. is he not supposed to stand out in the middle of Europe? We he know. would. We know. It's it would be. Like, it would be dope. Actually, that would be a good look. How is he supposed to stand out? Moving on. Man. Moving on. I ain't about to stand with this. Hey, the game's top ten. I'm talking this about the game's the rapper. All right, top ten rapper list, man. Thoughts. So first, this is the game, the rapper. I'm just make sure you guys know the game, the rapper's top ten rapper list. Rappers Alive, that's good to uh, actually add criteria. Rappers Alive. Jay-Z, Nas, Wayne, Eminem, this is in order as well. Snoop, Kendrick, Drake, Andre 3K, J. Cole, Lil Baby. When I first seen this, I'm not going to lie. Other than Lil Baby, because that is blasphemy to me. Lil Baby is a good artist, but it's no way yeah, in hell. It's, no it's, 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 it's no way in hell. But he is he is an upcoming uh, good artist. No way in hell in the top 10. Oh, but uh, honestly... And you can base it off of you know the secrets. I mean the uh, sequence of, of how he listed it. But this is a good list to me. I, I would I would not have Eminem, but other than that, I have everybody in here. Jay Z, you got Nas, you got Snoop, Kendrick, Drake, and Andre Three K and J Cole. Well, that's classic list because Eminem is one hundred percent. Yeah, that's actual great list. That's actual. I'm just saying he oh, would. Like, that's me. That's me personally. Alive. Oh, that's, that's a good list. This is this is a terrible. A list. This is a terrible it's list. A good list. How this is personal. Because, alive. Because, well, because uh, for me, like you said, my little baby, like, alive. There's, there's there's a plethora of rappers that rap better than little baby. Yeah, alive. So I mean, and so after, that's the only uh, one. Removing of that, the yeah. order of this is, is is nasty to me. Like, but that's his preference. That's fine. I know. Like, his, like his Snoop, like his West Coast bias is known because Snoop Dogg does not rap better than Kendrick Drake, J Cole, or Andre. Snoop Dogg is a monster. But the impact, bro. But he but he's talking he's, he's talking about rapping ability. And he, at the end of his tweet, he said, "I can go bar for bar." We not. So he's so talking about this because he said he could go bar for bar. That's me. It's just not act like. Snoop no, can Snoop, no, Snoop, Snoop can rap. This shit is. Isn't it? my favorite Snoop Dogg song, right, and all he does is spit. No, he doesn't no. rap better than these guys. Okay. Good. I'm also upset. Why is Andre 3000 so low? That's a, I mean, I, that's because he not, raps. That's what people like. Solo Andre. They say uh, Solo and, Andre and is the people, best rapper. And, and, and so you think Drake rapper than Andre 3000? You, you said who? You think Drake rapper? But people put no, Drake in their rapping. But it's what I'm saying. But people put as well though. But people put Drake Drake in their rapping. You gotta include everything as a rapper too. Let's not just forget. It's not just rap. Okay, I know that. on this list. That's not my issue. I know, but at at the end of the day, yes, it's above Andre 3000 because that's his preference, but. Also, it's not just based off of J. Cole. It's not just based off of lyrics, though. 
It's not just based off of lyrics. Yes, J. Cole right after Andre D. Uh, no, I'm saying he should be above you. Yeah, I mean, if you want to say that, that's totally fine. I just think Kendrick should be above Snoop a little bit. That's, that's what I'm saying. My own is the order. It's a good list. It's a good list. But you're just rearranging the list, bro. But I mean, you're debating like the placement. The list is what we're talking about. The list is good. The other than other than Little Baby. It's just other than Lil Baby, that's black. If we're just, if we're, just, if we're not I'm talking about, about Ice Cube in there for him, especially being uh, West Coast, but whatever. That's a new if we're not idea. talking about like order, if we're talking about the list, yes, the list. I I would never disagree with this list other than Lil Baby because that's just disrespectful to the millions of rappers who but are alive. He's the hottest right now, probably, and he probably resonates to him more. But you know when you look at the people on this list, he just yeah, does not because he grab He got to grab somebody from the youth yeah, too. He can't just be biased. and not pick one person. Nah, he's from the today. It's top ten all this time. Yeah, but to him, that's personal. So the little baby to him might be personally one of the best right now. That's a lie. Nah, I'm not lying. Right now, I'm not rolling with that. I know for I, I, fact, people love. I, I know for a fact, game knows like, other rappers that rap. But you sat, you sat here on this last podcast and, and, and talked about how great Nicki Minaj is. Yeah, that little baby should be on this list. I mean, that's his, that's his personal his list, though. Preference, bro. That's his he's personal list. He's just saying so he, he can see how he put him Nicki there. Nicki's not like, be on the list, but that's not his, what he wanted. Well, a lot of people thought Nicki should, should be on, on this list. She should be on the list. Who's your team should be on this especially list? Especially for the game, though. Especially for the game. And the Nicki should be on this list. And especially for the game, Lil Wayne should be number one. Three is perfect, though. Well, he's three like, is perfect. His preference. Three is perfect. I said, you keep thinking okay. JG's the but best. You just, but you just said your preference, so that was the same mind. With, and what I would think about the game's list. Because if you actually I'm look at it, Drake is lower. If, if you actually look at Drake, Drake. If you actually Drake look at that influence in, in the game, um, both of both of Wayne and the game had the, had a, probably the best songs on here together, if you ask me, my opinion. Like, what? Off of, off of Jesus piece? Like we talking about the game, we talking about Wayne. Like well, they, they were in the twine. I'm just saying, yes. his purpose is that these people are are better than Wayne. I'm not mad at that. Like, I mean, the two is either just Jay Z and Nas. I mean, like this. Well, now nah, I'm gonna get it because Eminem, three Eminem, Eminem deserved that that placement too. Eminem, he's really I impactful argue, too. I would argue against that. Yeah, because he he learned Eminem. Eminem was great. Keep going, keep going down. Lots of people think like Eminem. He's still great because Eminem favorite rapper. He's still great. Who's who's Eminem favorite rapper? We're not gonna do this today. It's not Wayne. Yes, it is. It's no, Eminem not. favorite. We can we can we can go after it's after the pod. Is trash. At the pod, we can go we can go through that. We can go through that. Preferably, he says yes, correct. Yeah, he's like, he he's, he, he loves trash. Ball ball. He's in the top five though. Yeah, the list is all right. He's in the top five. Not as everyone, bro. He don't get his respect like he should. Who 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 don't got Lil Wayne in the top five? A lot of people will we'll say Big Daddy Kane, Kumo D. That's a generational thing. <laughs> yeah, but so I'm that's, talking, what, I'm just, that's what he said. Everybody, you say everybody. You can't say everybody. That's everybody, everybody. that's not. That's the same thing. My uncle. Uh, like, everyone so. from the everyone from the nineties uh, up probably has Lil Wayne in the top five. Probably not. Should. If you're a millennial, you don't have Lil Wayne in the top five. But millennials don't listen to Lil Wayne as much. No, millennials. We're the millennials. I'm talking about like before us. Okay, actually, I'm talking about not even millennials. You're a, actually nowadays if you're a millennial and you don't have Lil Wayne no. in your top five favorites. I judge who you. I'm are. talking about millennials, millennials, millennials right now. Lil, a lot they of Lil Wayne. Now, but they do have then, the top then, five then, then, but, but now I judge your. I judge your taste in rap. People stuck though. Back then, Lil Wayne, Lil Carter three and shit. People now. I'm sorry, even that tech for Wayne like that now. Drake in this list, bro. I don't care. I never. No, I never debated that. I'm talking about. I'm talking about like eventually when his career is done. I, I think he's going to be in a lot of top ten lists, as he should. To me, Drake in my top opinion, ten, in my opinion, I think, I think you're um, right. But you know, said lyrics, not lyrics. If you add that specific criteria, no. it's a lot of people. But Even if rap, I do think I'm say rap artists. Drake might go I'm say rap artists. Artists. Yeah, rap artists. Yeah, if you say rap artists, he might. Yeah, rap artists. He's, he might be top three to strictly. Me. You just talking strictly like rapper based? Yeah, I think there's a lot of guys who you have to rap above. If we talking about rap artists, the only three I would have is, is, is Wayne, Jay Z, and Drake. Rap artists, think about that. Dang, artists. Kanye? Did Kanye West? Kanye West? I'm Kanye. Oh, Kanye's the one for me. It's yeah. Yeah. Artist. No, I'm I'm number one. Kanye West is my number one. Then, 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 it's, then to me, it, then it's uh, no order. It's Wayne, Kanye, and Drake. If you want to be honest, because if you want to be, be real, Kanye deserves to be on this list too. Exactly, but he's bugging, bugging. No, his influence. The top ten. Kanye West is uh, a different. That's, why, that's why I think this is about bars. Okay. I think this is about bars. Now Kanye does have bars. I'm not gonna say act like Kanye, y'all. Y'all be trying to act like 2000s Kanye didn't exist. I'm not gonna do that. But as far as a lot today, rapping ability, I do. You can definitely name yeah. ten guys that rap better than Kanye. Yeah. 
You can't really say bars like that because Lil Baby don't got bars like that to me. That's why he don't make. That's why it makes no sense. So it's not. Uh, so I think it's not just but he a, said a lyricist. Just just it's not really a, just a lyricist list. It's uh. But that's why, I, that's why I feel like it is because that's why. Because why else would Kanye be on? Here? But as a rapper, you gotta include everything. It's, it's probably that's what I'm saying. So why else would Kanye be on here? It's personal. Forget, when you make lists, people mm -hmm. start forget. I would, you, when you start yeah, making lists, Kanye's supposed to be friends. That's what I'm. Right now, I don't. They said something about UK. I don't know. No, yeah, oh, yeah. His game been going ham. He's yeah. he been he trying to be the black yeah. sheep. But so far, so far, this but this this uh, this game is to me top twenty. Everybody was saying Andre three K. You know, All like time? yes, of course. Ooh. No, I'm saying like top twenty. I said game is top twenty at least. All time? Who? Yes, the, the game. game. That's top yes. twenty. Yeah, I said twenty. I didn't even say yes. five. I didn't say ten. I said yes. top twenty. You I'll gotta you gotta put on game. All right, I got a question. Top thirty. I got a question. Rapping ability rise real quick. Rapping ability wise, who is better, the game or Ti? Rapping ability. Rapping ability wise, you better, people put Ti in you top better, twenty. You better stop playing. That's a good one. Rapping ability is a good one. Game. I got, I love, I got the game. I listen to more Ti, so I'm gonna go with. Ti. I love Ti. It's the game. But I, but rapping ability, the game. Is that, that's a, that's a, that's people that's, don't understand. That's, that's no. That, there's no wrong answer with that. I listen to more Ti, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, with yeah. I listen to both, but game. He just stands out more because he really have that. Ti. He really have that, 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 that energy. energy. That's my only beef with the whole top twenty thing. He's got one classic album. That's fine, but we talking about like you said, not enough like sales and anything. Rapping ability though. Just straight rapping ability. Dude, the game's up. The game is serious. He don't get especially when he had that this and uh, fifty. I mean, you could, but I'm just saying, you just he don't get his credit. Yeah, of course not. The game is underrated. And Ti and Ti right there, neck and neck, and then you got Rick Ross. They all one in the same boat, right there. All of them to me. So that's that's a good anywhere you put and for and me anywhere I put shout Lucas, out to Cold World I put Ti somewhere shout out to J Cole man. shout out to Cold World bro shout out to Cole that too man I don't know if J Cole did the thing I'm more offended by this season. Off season coming soon, bro. That's hey, all so I'm listening to Friday. I don't even want to hear it. This, that, they this that. album, yeah, that songs, I hate J. Cole. That's not true. I love J. Cole, but I'm going to be very upset. This is only like an eight song album. Where, Hopefully, it's not like interlude album. As long as he, he, gave, he gave me a 12 minute doc. I'm like, man, I'm this gonna be is not a doc. His, his energy is, is, his energy is, a, is a Lord. It's up there. His energy is up there. You don't never see uh, Cole really do presses or pop out like that. Even a, even a freestyle today. The last album. His energy. He, he out for y'all. He out for y'all. All that's what I'm gonna say. He out for y'all. And it's confined. These rappers. He about to. He only give energy when he hey. wants to. You don't. You already know. The he's too. thinking. He's thinking in the right space. Mm -hmm. I like what he said about. He said, "Yo, you really want to look back on your career? You ain't work with nobody." Like really, I was like, "Thank you, Cole," because that would be trash. That would be so trash if you sat here and didn't not work with trash anybody. Because he, it's not like. J. Cole just don't get his credit because at the end of the day, his features are bar none one of the best features. He's one of the best feature artists, but mm -hmm. the problem and gripe with him is just on albums. But you can't really complain too much when you have two to three albums that went platinum with no features. And I the features that, and listen, really and the good. features that what you did, uh, you did the feature. What was good? What was the only one? No, good? I said I can't complain if only one of them is considered the best one. No. People sleep. K K K KOD was K one of one. You're right, but KOD was Forest Hill Judge was one. Forest Hill Judge is best album, no debate. But I'm saying okay. is no, it's K not about that. What you talking about? This no that's debate. That's not his best album. So Born so Born Center is never best. That's my point. That's my point. For your eyes only. And but KOD Born Center are not better than Born Center or but Cold I don't know. And those all have features on it. You said that's, that's my point. You said so. Forest Hill, like my thing is when you do something once, it's special, and then everything else after that is kind of like it's saturated. So like Forest Hill Drive was special before you. That was his first time. Before your eyes only was fire, bro. People did not understand that album, bro. And understand if you go back right now and listen to For Your Eyes Only. For Your Eyes Only is literally. It's literally a pimp of blood and fly for J. Cole. Literally. I, I like, like people like do not give him only. his credit, bro. I like for He's your talking eyes about for your eyes only. It's better bro. than Forest Hill is my point. My point is but the I'm quality just, of the albums have not though. been better since the first time you did the No Future. I can agree. I see what you're saying. And the other two saying. are not better you than the ones you have. But Cole, but Cole is like it's better when collaborated. But Cole is just not for the industry. He's not for the industry. He's like to be a bro. He's an energy-based type of He felt the same way that I felt. But he said, that would be trash if I look back on my career like, dang. I didn't work with anybody. Because he knows he had that to do that. But he knows he has to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? To be a true artist, you have to work with other artists. So it's just... I mean, to, just to... Just, just a year and a half. So I agree. That's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why but, he agreed. That's why I'm glad he said that. Because, like, your Cole is like, you know, people, like, music is better when collaborated on. 
And people want, as fans, people want to hear things like that. Like, it's people, not, it's, but it's but not. People about, want to see. It's, it's about the it's, art. It's, it's the art, art, bro. And it's the opposite. It's, it's a art. villain, but it's about art. It's the energy, It's about bro. art, and it's the energy. Like, exactly. Because you want to get get oversaturated, bro. bro. But you got to understand, you got to understand, too. J. Cole, like he's saying, he's not a part of that group, bro. The industry, he's not a part of. So you're telling me you guys would be perfectly fine if J. Cole retired. He's never working with that. We're not saying that. You, you, but you keep saying that. But you can't, but he keeps saying you're not. Because while it's the most of songs, I just listen for J. Cole. He just came for Revenge of the Dream, where he put all of his fucking. Well, I listen to this for him. He did all of that because he had that thought. Okay, that's I understand that, but Q, we're not gonna just like act like that J. Cole did not have a part in his life. You talking about a time in his life which was a mm -hmm. five year span. Before it was four, but okay, that's fine, but you can't give him a gripe because he understood and knew what the industry was and mm -hmm. he didn't want his strings pulled. That's why he got two children and a wife and laying low and being J. Cole. That's why, that. I know, but, that. Let me, but let me make I'm my point because Born, Center, because Born Center and Friday Night Lights features and you gotta understand, he was a big feature artist early, but guess what? You remember the song "Don't Let Nas Down"? He got tired of looking at uh, looking at people in another way. Like I gotta have a feature with somebody. I yeah. gotta have a feature. That's so he checked. Yes, he got tired. But, of I'm, it. I, but I'm telling you that that, that, it, that was the gripe on J Cole, and you know that J Cole has taken a lot of slander because at first he was not a mainstream artist like people wanted him to be. Yeah, but, he became, but, but he became his own mainstream artist by doing what he wanted to. And when he like, actually became one, he realized it wasn't oh, what he was. Oh, bro. Because he dropped Born Center the same day as Kanye West, and he still went number one. Okay, that, because that, his talent, when he's talking about the pressures in which his the situation... Outside, you know I'm saying? Outside, I'm outside, your mainstream outside. point, Jake... If you beat Kanye, if you go number one yeah, the same you, day as Kanye uh, West, that's, that's pretty, fine, but that means people about, listen to your music. We're not saying that they don't listen. It's understanding who I am as an artist and what I want as an artist. Long you gotta understand. You gotta longevity, understand that. Bro. He doesn't because, care about because, because he's leaving. I think he does, bro. I mean, but he's he leaving. But he's but he still, but yeah. he left. But he, even though he's, he's, not he's leaving away, he's, he's come back, bro. He's leaving away, right. he's come back. Yes, there's still room leaving. to come back. But he's not that type of. He's gonna come back. But you know the type of rappers, him and Kendrick. Him and Kendrick are those type of rappers, bro. They're one on one, and which they, if they want to drop their art and go away for four years and come back, that shit still want to be fire, bro. Exactly. Well, that's what they I don't know how we got here. My only issue, but I'm talking, you talking about being features. Bro. I'm glad that J Cole had the same realization yes, of, of saying that you know what, that but I'm saying it's all me. If I didn't work, but he that proved, but, but he didn't need him. But he also proved that that's why he's making that statement now. Yeah. Because now he's just like, okay, I proved what I had to prove. During this span of time, because before that span of time, he was dropping a lot of features on the album. You I just mean, said that. Done. It's two parts of J what J. Cole's career has been. It's been a number eight Kobe, and it's been a 24 Kobe. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is. I mean, he even had to mature. The no features thing has been done before. It wasn't like it's a... a, like a, a but it hasn't been done a multiple been, times. It hasn't like been the album. No, it hasn't. Because been. no one wants to hear that. But... <laughs> But you're not gonna do that. It's not saying no one wants to hear that. You just said how great Forest Hill Drive was. You just said how it great is. Okay. It was great. To, I'm saying no one wants to keep my fault. No one wants to keep hearing that. Okay, then you can say that. That's that's I my thing. Like that. for me, like my issue became like I'm always gonna listen to the code. I listen to all the code. I love the code. I play KOD a lot. Mm -hmm. My issue is that you're on all. You do all the hooks, the background vocals, the verses, and you do the beat. It's a lot of code. But that's for his fans. Opposed, that's a lot. Of code. I mean, fans I'm saying the sound. The sound. I see. Will stay stagnant. If it's just you, as a person, get that you want to get, get a Timberland beat. I see that. Going to get a a, a, a murder, mur mur yeah. going to get a like. Yeah, that's because we're so saying going to his. Going to his point. Point. Let Ari yeah. Lennox sing the background. Why you? I don't want to hear you. Like Jay Cole, you rap. I don't want to hear you sing. Go get Ari Lennox to sing the background. Like these I things help saying. help. But, the yeah, but one more thing to your point, it's cheaper. As a fan, I'm saying, listen, wait, 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 wait. It's cheaper to do it himself because once you you got this person doing this, this person doing that, it's you got samples, gotta get clear, this gotta get clear, the music might not get out. He wanna get his gotta, music out. He wanna do he wanna do his music. He don't wanna worry about prima donnas in the studio. He don't wanna worry about gotta send this person money for this and that. He can do all of himself. And guess what? When the masters when the master check hit when the master check hit, that's all his. They, they are his now after yeah. after yes. Forest Hill Correct. That's what I'm saying. This stuff he did saying. on his own. His so own. So why not get a feature? And have a, have I mean, a he, will, he, he will. He will. He will. He already did it. He, he did will. everything. So I say that's why he must retire now. He doesn't own any of the music. Let's move he on. on. Let's move on because. Well, I've been here all day talking about death. Right? I get your bro. point, though. Go listen to that LA Leaguers. J. Cole is a menace. A menace, man. Menace, man. man. Off season He's coming Friday, May 14th, man. We love J. Cole here, so yep. nothing yeah, but man. free promo. That's man, why we're talking. So, man, I love J. Cole. May states that 
he feel like it's a, it's a weakness thing. He, he made a controversial statement, but he, he stood on it. He said he feel like it's a, weak, a weakness thing that a black man has to join a street game. And honestly, he got backlash, but in a, and also he didn't. Um, in a general standpoint, I respect everybody. And you got to understand that different situations and different people, you can't just pass judgment on these situations. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going further and I'm, and I'm you know, rebuttaling it and, and giving my thoughts to what May said, mm -hmm. I understand what he's saying, too, at the same time. Because at the end of the day, I look to my brother right here, I look to my brother right here. Mm -hmm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do without these gentlemen. And also, if we were... Uh, if I didn't know these gentlemen and say if I was, you know, just a part of different something different, uh -huh. I would be taking one of these uh, gentlemen's life and my brother's lives. You mm -hmm. got to think about that. You got to understand that we are taking each other's lives out here. I understand how mm -hmm. the optics and everything is, but it, it, it's one is one. And, I, and also on the other side of things, we don't we don't get glamorized and talked about within gangs. They do a lot to change a lot of that, a lot of their surroundings, a lot of their people's lives too. So we can't just act like. It's just one of the things that, oh, yeah, I want to be a part of. I want to do this. Because mm -hmm. the biggest organization and the gang in the world has been killing our black people since day one. And that's the yeah. police. The biggest gang. The biggest so gang. so and I, I, I agree with Mason saying um, wholeheartedly because you don't want any of our black men and black women being killed by each other. But at the end of the day, you got to understand the circumstances. In which, I, I, so it goes hand in hand. I me. also agree with Mace. And on the other hand, it's like. When it's a lot of gang infested area territories, a lot of kids really have no choice because their best friend might be a blood or a crib. So if I'm hanging around my best friend, I have no choice but to join because if I'm hanging around him, I could get shot off just by retaliation, not even, you know, being affiliated. I'm just I'm just affiliated. That's why I can get shot. So sometimes it's just the pressure of just being in certain areas and certain neighborhoods, it pressures a lot of young kids to get into that because... So you agree that it's weak? I, I, I agree it's weak, but at the same time, it's a lot of pressure because a lot of kids don't have nobody to defend. Mm -hmm. You can't... If I'm a scrum, if I'm third wait, if I'm 13, 14, and, and it's, it's gang infested, I need somebody to help protect me. I don't have no gun. I don't have no gun license. So I'm going to need That's my gang. I'm going to need the OGs. I'm going to need some people around me to That's help it. protect me a little bit. But it's I do disagree with it because the retaliation is killing kids. Mm -hmm. It's killing... Family members, a lot of people are dying, but at the same time, a lot of kids are born into it because their uncles and mm -hmm. they, their aunties, they are born mm -hmm. into it. Or mm -hmm. it's just, you got to join a game because when you hop off that bus, that person from the other side going to be waiting for you. It's either, and this is my homie, he probably beef with them, so I'm with him or... And, and, when he, and what I feel like, Mace, before you go, you, what I feel like Mace should have added to his point too is just, at the end of the day... It is systematic too. We ain't just putting the blame on it because the blame would be put on everybody. You feel me? But at the end of the day, you gotta understand that he gotta understand that it is part of systematic because, like he just said, we watch Snowfall. That's one of our favorite shows. Mm -hmm. You know how real that is. But that that shows you the optics of what we were going through as people. You born into forced this type into of lifestyle, right? forced into it, and and put upon it. So I do agree to disagree with him because yeah. at the end of the day. I just feel like it's not good to kill off our people in general and retaliate on our own people in general. So uh, I disagree with Mace, mm -hmm. not because I'm, I'm not saying that gangs aren't bad and you mm -hmm. should join. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I disagree with him saying it's the weakest thing you can do. Correct. Right. That's just that's not Correct. true. Like you said, you know, there are a lot of people who go off in certain situations, but you don't, you know, certain people don't have father figures or male figures in their life. Mm -hmm. And one thing about men, males, like, not even just males, kids in general will look for companionship will look for that that older companionship wherever they can get it they will seek it out it's like an innate thing that's been built into us mm -hmm. so if you don't have a male and you and your and your kid's life mm -hmm. or like just like you know brothers or anything like that and they see this and these guys on the on the blockers are the ones showing them love mm -hmm. and teaching them things even if it's the wrong things I say oh they feel like that's they're learning something from them like they feel like that's, that's so like that's not weak like that's it's not, not weak if it's all you know. Yeah, like you're gonna be drawn into that because you're gonna be, you're looking for that, um, that older guidance or mm -hmm. acceptance and father and male a male um father figure. Mm -hmm. One thing any I can way, say, where, any way you can find right. it. So it's not the weakest thing. One way I could agree, agree with. with. One thing I oh, could agree. Let me let me finish. Ahead, so like, and so and yeah, like I'm not gonna tell you to join the game. And, um, you know, even with, even just because you're friends in it, man, don't do it. Because it's like, this new movie just came out on Netflix called Monsters. It's got Nas, it's that Rocky, mm -hmm. not even watching the ending. Mm -hmm. And that was basically it, man. It was like, you know, this, this kid in, um, in the projects from Harlem, he had a future. He was 17, he graduated, he off of school. 
And you know, you know, here comes this guy in the street and he's showing him some love and befriending him and showing him around. And you think this guy's your friend, but next mm -hmm. thing you know, he gets you jammed up in some in some ish. Now you sitting in a courtroom fighting for your life. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like that, that kid ain't your friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you and you sitting there looking crazy. Cause it's like, hold on, like I wasn't even down with this or with this, but he got you sitting in a courtroom, possibly going to jail the rest of your life. You supposed to be going to school. But like Dierre said, you become, so you gotta, but you become, you also become victim of circumstance too. I, I and one thing that, I wanted to add, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta rise above that. I'm not saying uh -huh. it's easy, but you got to. Even Nipsey, who is a gangbanger, said himself. He said, man, like the, like I had to sit back and take a look at gang culture. It was, it was sick. He said, man, mm -hmm. you when you get in that car and go and look off one of your enemies. And the next neighborhood, you're not looking for a dude that's got a suit and tie on or, you know, that's looking like he got a nice job. You're looking for somebody that's mm -hmm. dressed like you, sagging your pants. You're basically looking up, looking for yourself to kill yourself. And it's like, I mean, I, I took a look at that. I was like, man, that's, that's sickening. It's mm -hmm. like, but that's that's the culture we grew up in. This is this is a gangbanger himself. So it's like, now I don't agree with gang culture at all. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to judge anybody in it because I, un I understand when it's like, you know, what peer pressure is like, every one of us has been there, you know, it's different for everybody, you know, being a young kid, I think parents sometimes, parents become so out of touch with their kids and what it's like to be in school, because parents will tell you things like, oh, you can wear that, you can say that in school, but it's like, you're not the one, it's easy for you to say, you're not the one that has to deal with these jokes and being laughed at every day, mm -hmm. I do, and parents forget that, parents forget what it's what it's like to be young and to be peer pressured and to want to be cool and be seen by your mm -hmm. friends and mm -hmm. to not want to be laughed at. They, they're they talking about it from a perspective of now, how it doesn't matter to you mm -hmm. now. But you forget, like, yo, like, at that age, even I forget, like, at that age, that means a lot. It's stupid to me now when I watch old high school, like, man, we were tripping on stuff like that. But right. I have to remember, like, dang, back sure. then. One thing I wanted to add, lot. one thing I want to add, though, um, it is weak if you're at a certain point of the gang status and you're still trying to put people on and you're still trying to lead people down the wrong path. Oh, yeah. Like, if you're at a certain point of age where you can, you know, get a job and live a narrow path and you're still out here trying to be the big homie to the block where you have kids and you have a family at home. And well, yeah, that's true. That's, that's, that's what I'm that's saying. Right. I'm, saying. Well, I'm just giving you different about dynamics, about you know what I'm saying? Right. If it is weak, if you're still being involved in gang activity when you don't need to be, when, you, when you're a grown man, you're... You know, you are you have kids and you're able to branch out and do your own thing. If you're still putting people on in the hood, and you're still, like, influencing kids to do this and influencing people to do that, then that is weak. At this point, you I should find you something different to do. Is, and actually and actually change it. Matter of fact, matter fact, if you are, wait, if you are OG and you're still in, in the gang activity, you can just flip it. You can actually just start... You know, bringing people in and start doing turkey drives, putting, you know, changing the narrative, changing, the narrative, and changing right. the narrative of what people think it really is because it was started off in unity. Yeah, unity. You know what I'm saying? So we got to end it with unity. You know, right. Stephen H said, you know, the reason he didn't get into drugs because the guys that were on his coin that sold drugs smacked the crap out of him. He said, man, if I ever catch you near some drugs, I'm going to mm -hmm. smack the crap out of you, man. You got a future. Absolutely. You know, you, you don't need to be doing this. So like you said, man, like you got to have people who are in it and realize there's nothing for them and mm -hmm. death and tell them, yo, Absolutely. You won't be part of this. Real talk. Would you rather, man, lastly, would you rather, would you rather lose all your money you earned this year or lose all of the knowledge you gained this year? So wait, earn up to this point? Or mm -hmm. Up to this period. point. Up to this point. Mm -hmm. All the money you earned this year or lose all of the knowledge you gained this year? I'd rather lose the money because I'd rather I'd rather, I'd rather lose I'd rather lose the money too. Lose the I, money. I would say I would say lose the money just based off of if you you don't have knowledge, then you can't gain anything. It's mm -hmm. what's more value than 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 learning. People gotta understand. You gotta learn. That's that, what those what really a values of like internships teach you. Like those type of entities and things of that nature. I may not be getting paid, but I'm learning from experience. Cause down the line, we doing over here. Cause down the line, hey, I'm gonna become wealthy. Right. I'm, you you we gain, you learn, you learn. Once you learn, you gain money. You gain leverage, yep. you gain respect, mm -hmm. you gain loyalty, you gain a lot when you learn. You know, be a fly on the wall at all times. You got to listen and learn, gain knowledge. That's very important. So I think we will all agree to that point. Yeah, man. knowledge is power. Knowledge That's all is, I power is power, man. Knowledge is power. It's, more, it's, it's much more things more important than money. I mean, knowledge is one of them, honestly. Gotta you can't obtain knowledge. knowledge. You can't obtain any money if you don't have any knowledge or know how to get. And you'll lose the money if you don't got no knowledge. Right, exactly. You ain't gonna know how to get the, the, get the money back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, oh, amazing, amazing episode, guys. You already know, man. Thursday, five p.m. My brethren, 
Another hit, another hit. Make sure you go get that. Make sure you go to we'll the merch. Please subscribe, like, and comment, share. All Simple that. business. Comment, all that. Simple business we have here. We got Game, game Shift at the Phase On View Podcast. Color Power, as you already know, man. Make sure you get all this merch. Hey, coming to you very soon at the Phase On View Podcast Summer Gear, all right? Yep. Hey, much love and one Much guys. love. Peace. Peace.